San Diego researchers may have found the fountain of youth in the most bizarre place, the intestines of a fruit fly. Researchers at, researchers at Salk Institute for Biological Studies found fruit flies lived up to 50 percent longer after they tweaked a gene in their intestine. The study is published online in Cell Metabolism. Joining me now is Leanne Jones, associate professor at Salk's Laboratory of Genetics and a lead scientist on the project. Dr. Jones, thanks for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure, Joanne. Why fruit flies? <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of reasons why we use fruit flies in research. Um, th but uh, for this specific study, uh, it's important to note that the fruit fly can go from an embryo to an adult in nine days. So they have a very short um, uh, incubation period. Um, their lifespan is about 30 days. So if we're very interested in trying to understand what it is that causes uh, uh, aging or we want to manipulate genes to look at extended lifespan, then having something with a normally a, a short lifespan is makes a big difference. The other thing that uh, was really nice about using fruit flies is the fact that they have tissues very similar to humans that are maintained by populations of cells called stem cells that are important for um, regulating the turnover of tissues. So, um, for example, in the intestines, they have stem cells just like humans have stem cells in their intestines. So those are two uh, important um, features that, that make them useful for the study and the question. So what is it that you found in the intestine that actually prolonged life? Well, we uh, manipulated one gene uh, whose function that we, we know is involved in regulating the, uh, these organelles within our cells. Um, and we knew that, uh, that this uh, gene became active in uh, organisms that are living longer. So um, we tweaked that gene within the stem cells and that allowed uh, the, the delaying of the aging program in the stem cells, which led to the main of the intestinal tissue for longer, and we think that that's why the flies wound up living longer. <laughs> so they live longer. Did they not age? Like, did they live a long time but got old still? You know what I mean? With the disease and everything? Exactly. Or did they live healthy? Exactly. They appeared to be much more active than the flies um, that were the same age um, and were kind of more slow moving. Uh, these flies were appeared, at least on the activity-wise, to look a lot more young. Uh, it's very similar to the intestines. So can you apply this? Everyone at home wants to know, okay, so now what can you do with this in terms of applying it to humans? Right, right. Well, there's obviously a lot of work that would have to be done in order to take this to uh, that, that level. I think what, what we're trying to understand first is whether or not all stem cells age in the same way. Uh, some data from our lab suggests that that's, and, and other labs suggest that that's not actually the case. So it might not be this gene that we have to tweak in, in each of the stem cell populations. So. Um, but once we begin to understand what it is that governs the aging program of stem cells, then certainly we can try and uh, acti uh, activate or delay certain programs in order to uh, maintain stem cell activity for longer, maintain tissue uh, uh, integrity for longer, organ function for longer, and therefore we would be able to have a healthier life for as long as we live. So the goal is not necessarily just live longer, but to actually delay those age-related diseases Ab we all get. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the, the idea would be, as I, as I said, if we can uh, uh, delay the onset of these types of uh, degenerative diseases, then that would allow us to live a more healthy life. Dr. Leanne Jones, thank you so much for being here. Thank you again. My pleasure.